24502 Brittany here in East Point. We're waiting on a price from the bank. We've got a three bedroom ranch with a uh, two car detached garage. Uh, exterior is not in bad shape, a lot of curb appeal. Roof, I think we probably have got four or five years left on the roof in the house and garage. Um, I think we'll be okay with those for now. Um, we have to take care of the, um, the fascia board in the garage. Uh, do some more to these front porch steps. Maybe probably throw a more permanent rail up there. <clears throat> Going through the front door. Gonna need some cosmetics. Living room here, the carpet definitely has to come up. If we have hardwood underneath, we'll go with the hardwood. If not, recarpet everything. Um, definitely have to take care of this paint here. They've got some pretty uh, crazy colors. Dining area here. Kitchen here, you see plenty of uh, plenty of counter space. Let me step back here. In the living room, kind of show you. It flows right into the dining room and into the kitchen. Come down the hall here. Carpet has to be pulled up throughout. Uh, take a peek inside the kitchen here. That's where your appliances will go. Obviously, you need paint there. Cabinets, I think we can work with, refinish those. Again, there's your dining area there, front entry. Uh, come back down the hallway here to the left, bedroom number one. Again, yank this carpet up, do something with this hideous screen. Put the light fixture up. We have vinyl windows throughout, um, except in the bathroom. I'll show you. It looks like we're, we're probably going to swap that window out. You're going to need some uh, bifold doors here. Hall closet. Bedroom number two. More of the same. Missing the bifold doors. It looks like we do have hardwood underneath, so uh, let's just count on ripping this carpet out and having hardwood throughout the house. There's a pan of uh, bedroom here. Come out of this room here. To the left is the bathroom. Not too bad a shape. I think we can probably work with most of this. But that's the window there, which I believe uh, we should probably yank out and put a slider in there. Bedroom number three. More of the same, this one actually has a wood window, but it looks fairly new. Same over here. So we could probably work with those. Here's a closet over here. Take you through the kitchen down to the basement. Dishwasher here, we'll have to see if it works. Looks like they actually have, oh, well, that's a compactor. To figure out what to do there. I don't know if we can keep that thing, see if it works, or eliminate it, maybe pop another cabinet in. I'll go down to the basement, then I'll take you and show you the backyard. This carpet's got to come up. Downstairs, it looks like at one point it might have been somewhat of a finished basement. I'm going to go to the left here. Definitely have to paint the floors and the walls. Tack up some of this, uh, these vents here. Over here, you got some sliding doors. I don't know if this is just like some additional storage in here. I'll have to dry lock these walls. Over here is where your water meter goes. Looks like we had a panel up. Drywall there. Here's the uh, furnace room. Get a newer uh, Goodman furnace there. Hot water tank is. 2004, so I think we should be good there. Of course, we'll test it. We got carbon monoxide tester there, so we're looking solid there for the most part. Come out here, another little room here. Looks like they have a little accordion door. This is your laundry room, your laundry tub, gas line for the dryer, uh, some more storage here, a little nook. And over here's our service panel. So, and up here I just want to show you too, we'll probably have to rip most of this down, looks like, or possibly, I mean, whatever is going to be more cost effective, either rip that all down or maybe throw some ceiling tiles up there, looks like the frame's mostly intact. Outside here, there's another little room, looks like it might have been a bedroom, so there's a closet here, very small room. 
And back over here actually is a half bath. Vinyl tile floor, toilet, sink, little mess. Well, actually we'll need a medicine cabinet. It's messing there. A little cabinet next to it. So we can probably spruce this up. So three bedroom ranch. <coughs> basement. One and a half baths. I'll take you outside. This is the one problem. There's an above ground pool. So here's your garage here too. I just scrape and paint that. But we have an above ground pool. So I don't know. Do we pull this out of here and rip down the deck? Or is it something we can keep with the rental property? Uh, I know it might be tough for insurance purposes. And then here's our yard here, additional storage shed back there. Looks like it might need a little bit of repair on the doors. Where it is a private lot. Central air. Again, nice size lot. Looks like it backs right up to uh, the park there. And there's the back of the house there. Yeah, definitely have to take care of that bathroom window. So we're gonna need a decent amount of updates. Uh, the biggest thing is what do we do with this pool here? And we just have to wait and see what uh, price we get back from the bank.